watching the Digimon Season 3 podcast. My name is Matt Benwert, and I'm here with my bro, Chris Benwert. And we are reviewing episodes 4 and 5 of Digimon Tamers, the third season of Digimon. The reason why we're doing 4 and 5 together, last episode we did 2 and 3 together, is because the show starts off slow. The exposition of this series is painstakingly slow. So pretty much, th- I'm gonna, I'm gonna. This episode's probably gonna be a little shorter than the other ones. Um, so this, the, the last two episodes, I highly recommend you guys just straight up. If you're gonna, you know, because I, I hope you guys are watching the, the show along with us. It's the greatest children's show of all time. But if you, so if you go out here and like you go on Wikipedia, you can actually find an episode list for uh, Digimon. Just read the synopses, synopses, synopses for uh, episodes four and five, because it's literally. It does a better job of explaining what you're trying to get out of I it. I feel like, yeah, I feel like the, the, the things that are established in this one are established also in other episodes. They're not useless. They're not useless. They're I don't not, think... You, no, no, you learn, you learn quite a bit. Like, you learn you learn a lot about Henry and Rico. Here's, here's the thing. Here's the thing with these episodes fall into the... They fall into the plight of... Um, or, like, the problem of... With, like, like a lot of animes is, like... Especially in episode four, is there's a fight, and, and the fight scene is just, like, so the prolonged. Episode. The whole episode. And, and, and they, they use, like, in, like, Naruto, and, like, I, I never watched a lot of anime growing up, but, like, my one problem with anime is, like, these fights go on, and it's, like, more talking. It's, like, yo, just have a conversation and then fight. And I kind of, I'm, like, kind of, that's one thing I just don't like about anime. Um, yeah. Or, like, no, I, uh, the style. I, I don't really, I don't really watch anime, but, uh. That being unless, said, it was done pretty well. Oh, yeah, that's, I mean, I mean, like, the few, the few, like, shows, I guess, are, like, anime, you consider are, like. Like probably this show, uh, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, and I guess I guess some people consider Avatar: The Last Airbender anime. Yeah, I I dude I I don't know I don't know why to me it's not anime. Like, to I, me it's not it's, anime. It's yeah, not yeah, the yeah. style, and even like like they don't like like I said like like the yeah. one of the big things in anime is like like uh like I've I've seen a handful of episodes of Dragon Ball Z of like they don't have like the yeah, fights with here. the dialogue. They have the fights and they have the dialogue so separate. Yeah, no, but like what I what I like about those series is is it's a uh, there's a beginning point and there's an end point. And yeah. It takes like less than hundred episodes to get there. So yeah. that's the thing about like One Piece, it's like there's 700 episodes. You're really telling me that Yo, someone real? thought of a, a yeah, yeah, 700 episodes of One Piece. I think at least. That's Actually, ridiculous. you know, I'm gonna look it up. But it's like you really think someone's thinking of something clever or like some elaborate sort of writing yeah. in those seven in each of the seven. Nah, nah. Most of them just gonna be garbage. Yeah, that's like, ridiculous. That's crazy. Yeah, anyway, so that, that, that's kind of that's kind of the plight that these these two episodes right here are just all exposition. Yeah. Um. So I mean, I'll, I'll start talking. You can look up that question. I'm interested. How many episodes of One Piece are there? I mean, I've, I've never, I've never even seen. I've seen like two episodes of it when I was younger on like the the CW or Fox Box or Four Kids or whatever, but um, never really watched it. Uh, here's my thing though. So this episode starts off Terramon de Digivolving. I think that's cool to see um Gargamon de Digivolve to Terramon, but uh, what is more interesting and, and something that this show goes through a lot of like if like other kids shows of its era, like even like Pokemon is probably the one. It always gets compared to is like in Pokemon. There are they nine hundred and thirty-one episodes of One Piece currently out, and it's still going. Why? Why? How, how long is it to I find the know. One Piece of treasure? Right? It's like the king's treasure, or whatever. Yeah, man. I don't know. I just thought I thought I'd interject with that. That's ri- that's ridiculous. That is ridiculous. That's that ridiculous. Is, I hate that. I is hate that, that. I think is that more episodes than The Simpsons have? Easily, easily, Matt. Do you think The Simpsons has nine hundred episodes? I hope not. That's ridiculous. That's disgusting. That's okay. Anyway, um. That's Holy 310 hell. hours. That's disgusting. Okay, anyway, uh, what was I saying? Um, what was I saying? I totally forgot. Yeah. Uh, oh, they talk, okay, so, so, uh, they did you evolving. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. The episode starts off, so that's what I like about the show, and they, 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 these episodes play with this, like, that's essentially all these episodes are, is playing with, like, like, actions have consequences in the world, and a lot of shows don't, like, even, like, Power Rangers, you know, like, in Power Rangers, like, they'll blow up the city, and then it's like, okay, reset. But in this one, like, they mess up the playground. And it's like, in the, and the people at the school are like, yo, the playground's messed up. And then, like, yeah, and that's episode five. Yeah. And, and then, but in this one, it's like, also like Gargamon. He's like, he's like, I just, he, he, he kills a Digimon in a fight. He beats a Digimon in a fight, uh, Gorillamon. He has to, yeah, he has to. He has to to survive. But then he's like, yo, I just killed him. Like, and he was like, my friend, he's a Digimon. Like, there's no reason. I don't know why he was mad at me. I don't know why he's fighting, but I feel. So there's like a level of guilt, and and you yeah, have yeah. Henry, who's like this pacifist character, who's constantly feeling guilt for it, and like yeah, and they they actually do a great job kind of explaining like so Henry's dad has something to do with like Digimon. It's not really told yet, but like, yeah, he might, he might have like developed a game or like maybe like extensively studying it or something. I forgot what it was, but something along those lines. Yeah, but and so pretty much like he's a, and it shows like he got um the game right yeah. or whatever. For like pretty much what happened was he was he was playing like this game, and in the game he's using Terriermon to like fight this Gorillamon. 
and in the game he's like dude like he's you know he's a pacifist but he like he like kills the character in the game and he's like or no he has like he some feels guilt for yeah, it yeah 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 he, that, he has, like, that's, that's how big of like like uh like takata's just a bitch boy straight up but like sure henry is boy, henry no is cap. like a henry is like just like a deeply empathetic likable pussy yeah uh, he is he's a likable pussy that's what he is at the end of the day yeah. and 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 we love that like like even playing video games he's like i just killed him i, I feel bad and it's like dude yeah bro. And, and you could and this and this, this, this i mean the, the episode does a great job of showing like like listen like he is so incredibly like even though his digimon is like this brash like motherfucker that could straight kill someone cap him on the streets he is not like dude dude you know what i i, I just thought of like can you imagine like henry playing like uh, like call of duty zombies like the moral dilemma he must have had he's like i just yeah, killed like, I don't this man kill this guy but also he's a nazi but also he's already dead but then he's re-dead and he's just like sitting there he's like well is being a nazi worth being killed for but everyone's life is valuable they can change and then he's like you know what i mean he's just, like just imagine he's like maybe, maybe i can you convert put, you, him. Put, you put him and ang into a room and then one of them has to kill the other <laughs> <laughs> who's coming out alive? Avatar. Who's coming out alive? That's an Avatar that's Airbender reference, Chris. This is strictly Digimon, the you're third right, season right. I, podcast. I'm sorry, guys. The fact that I brought up One Piece, a uh, show I've never even seen a single episode of, um, during the Digimon season three podcast. Yeah. It's <laughs> disgusting of me. I'm but sorry. But that is that is funny though. I, I do like like he like I feel like he's just constantly like moral dilemmas over just like stuff. It's like dude, yeah, he's yeah. the Gorillamon's trying to kill you. Just kill yeah. Gorillamon. And then also then also we get a little development in episode five. And then uh, Rika, dude, I love Rika. Just yeah. shows up in this. Rika just shows up like at the end of all the fights for some reason, and she's like, she literally, sh- dude, this is so funny. And twice she well, shows no, 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 up. The reason the reason and, she and does that is because she's like she's hunting Digimon. Dude, I know, but she and shows the Digimon up. Digimon aren't going to her. But literally, okay. I get what you're saying, but the yeah. thing that's so funny is she shows up at the end of the fight, and they've just had, like, moral dilemmas, and she, all that she, like, literally, episodes four and five, all she says is she shows up, and she goes, she's like, hmm, I want to kill it, and she just leaves. She's just like, she's just like, she I hate it. everything. She kills it, and then she leaves. That's, uh, that's all she does, right. but, like, but, like, and then she just says something mean, and, like, every time, like, Takato and Henry are like, yo, you just killed a life, and she's like, I don't give a fuck, and just leaves. Like, that's her whole, yeah, her, yeah. her whole personality well, is, like, it's yeah, just, yeah, like, I want to kill people, and I'm totally and cool with at, it. At the end of episode five, we actually get, like, the, uh, like, we, we get, like, a, like, a emotional growth, because there's, you know, you know, Kalmon, our boy. He's yeah, Kalmon. He's always been there for us. Kalmon just wanders around. Kalmon yeah, Cal- is, like, just, like, yeah, a... Yeah, so, so Kalmon, the reason, the reason they messed up the playground in that episode is, is like, that episode feels like such filler. The only relevant thing that happens that episode is you see Kalmon is just on a quest to have friends. I love that. And uh, Kalmon's a total bro. Kalmon, yeah. Kalmon just has like big like and surfer Cal- bro and Kalmon vibes. Kalmon is like something with him. Like you, you know, like there's something special about Kalmon. Um, but anyway, he's out here. I mean, there like is there. He has. I think he has like. Uh, I think he's the one like allows him to dig you off. I don't think it's ever fully explained. But I. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, I yeah, they were gonna but say. Then, yeah. Um. Anyway. So then they were also introduced this character named Jerry. You know, like that crazy, like weird cat girl, or like a horse girl at your school. Yeah. Like, she, only, she only read the Warrior Cats books, at like in like. Oh yeah, she for sure read Warrior Cats. Yeah, yeah, and she's like, you know, she's like kind of like weird and says like some really weird shit. No, I live in I live in Chicago right now. Do you think like so I know and like we grew up in Iowa, but I live yeah. in Chicago. Like so in Iowa we had horse girls. Do they have horse girls in Chicago? They just have like rat girls, like girls like tame a rat or something. I don't know, man. That's weird. But I want to. Yeah. Do inner city kids have horse girls? I don't Yo. even know, but like. Yo. Yeah. Oh man. Do, do, like, what is a damn a horse girl in the city? She had to like fly out. <laughs> she, that's that's kind of pain. That's she pain takes right the there. metro out into the subway, <laughs> off into freaking I don't know. She takes the bus from there. Yeah, <laughs> that's weird, man. Anyway, I'm sorry. Yeah, but um, yeah, regardless, uh, so yeah, horse, uh, horse girl, uh, Jerry. Yeah. She might be in the hospital. It's kind of I think she's in the hospital or she's in an orphanage or something. No, she she's is. not. I think she's in the hospital. I'm no, she's sure. not. Is in she? That, in that yeah. She's just nutty. Well, no, like I think she's not. I think she has like cancer or something. No, bro, really? There's like there's so, anyway. I, I can Dude, be you're totally getting your shows mixed up. I don't I can think be totally wrong. I'm pretty sure that she like there's anyway, but she's she's in she's somewhere. She's, she's just Calum. quirky. That doesn't mean she has cancer. Okay, all right. I mean, there. She's just quirky. I wasn't, I wasn't she's just like scrapbooking. That you know, people, that doesn't that doesn't mean she's got I mean, a I'm terminal not illness. That inherently, like people who scrapbook have cancer the other way around. Like that's. I think you're in the scrapbooking once you get cancer. You ever notice that? There's, that, there's definitely an inverse yeah. correlation there. Yeah, I mean, I all kids like, use scrapbooks because have cancer, I mean, but like when people get cancer, cancer they like always get into scrapbooking. You ever notice that? Well, I mean, they like weird nostalgic shit. What else are you going to do? You going to get, get into Coke? Deteriorate your, brother, your body further? No. I don't know. Maybe get into like yoga or something. But it's hey, always. Rest in peace to all my homies with cancer who are listening right now. Yo, dude, for real, for real. Um, yeah, shout out to the cancer community. I, I've i lost friends. What's the, what's the A Fall in Our Stars? I love that movie. Is I, that about I cancer? I never saw that movie. I think it's about cancer. It's about cancer. Yo, for real, all my boys. Hey, dude. Hey, hey, one sec. Moment of silence. Moment of silence for all the fellas with cancer. 
All right, Digimon, Digimon right, third season. Digimon. Okay, so where are we at, um, dude? You know what I love is is uh, is Calamon. You're talking about like Calamon just like roaming around, and you also you also see Terry or whatever. Uh, two two kind of weird characters. I think they eventually I think they eventually become like a like a Digimon and Tamer duo, but they straight up made a pentagram. I don't know if you saw it. They straight up make a pentagram out of chalk, and that's what summons yeah. the Digimon. Yeah, yeah. So so Calamon and Gilmon are just dicking around on the playground. And they make a just, pentagram. They're just, they're just hanging out, and Calamon's like, "Hey, Gilmon, let's just go play. Let's go play." Like, you know, because they're, they, they're both, like, two goofy, like, kids, yeah. pretty much. And so they go play, and actually meant to make a pentagram and summon a demon Digimon, which is kind of badass. Yeah, that's wild. Yeah. Dude, they make a pentagram, which is, which, which also, uh, once they build a pentagram, a, den- a Digimon spawns from it, or, 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 so, so I, I think the question is, is, A, is Calamon some sort of metaphor for Satan, building a pentagram, or some sort of demonic worshiper archetype, or is, yeah, I don't know. or did, did the, and also, second quote, part two. Did Kalmon make a pentagram on purpose? Um, or B, uh, did the pentagram summon the Digimon, or did the Digimon just by chance summon where they built it? Like, was that just coincidence? Or, like, is there some sort of weird correlation between religious imagery and Digimon? Because I don't think that's ever explored throughout the series, but they definitely did that, like, low-key casually. Um, it is very bizarre. Chris is reading about Terry right now, by the way. What oh do you have on her? Oh, my God. Her name is Jerry. Oh, it's Jerry. Jerry, I just I just looked her up. Um, Does she have cancer? On Digimon Wiki, bro, she's seen some shit. Yo, for real? Yeah, no. Yo, lay it down. Characters got introduced. They're probably gonna talk about this in later yeah, episodes. Yeah, yeah. Do you wanna just dude, um, spoil it? Let's spoil it. I feel like um. Do you wanna get there when we get like there? I shouldn't. Do you wanna get there when we get there? I feel like I shouldn't. All right, time out. Does Jerry have cancer? Yeah, you're nay. I don't really know. No, that's but, for sure, um, nay. That's for sure, nay. I was right. But Car- it Jerry might be, does might not be have worse cancer. Than cancer. Oh, she's got a bad personality. She got no ass. <laughs> no, <laughs> she's like ten, no, bro. Listen, hey, hey, she, she's hey, into tarot cards. Relax, it's even worse. Relax, it's even worse. Relax, relax. That was a joke. That it was, was a, a joke. joke. <laughs> for legal reasons. Yeah, but for real though, Takata's teacher still is is. Takata's is teacher, she's who is definitely a college graduate because she's a teacher. Yeah, therefore, yeah, yeah. we can infer that she's at least twenty four. All right. Yeah. yeah. Twenty two. She is bad. She's bad. She's, she's a bad. bad. She's a baddie. Uh, she's not even like fan service baddie. She's just like she's like girl next door baddie. Hey, time out. Time out. Real quick. Time out. Takata's teacher. We bad. talked about this every other episode. Bad as hell. She's but she's this girl next door bad. She's not she's not supermodel bad. She's she just some, like she got something to her, you know. She she scrapbooks too. She, she doesn't have cancer, but she for sure stuff. scrapbooks. You know what I mean? She might have cancer. She might have cancer, dude. She might yeah, that'd be crazy. Cancer. Dude, also, dude, uh awful, though. we'll get to where you're saying, but also like worth referencing. We didn't get to see the Twin Tower sisters type in. Yeah, yeah, no. Where Zippo Man did make an appearance, and I love those Zippo guys. Zippo Man, Mustang. I love Zippo Man. I want to see more yeah. Zippo Man. No, uh, what I was saying though is, if you guys want to, if you guys want to skip ahead in that, look at look up like Digimon Wiki, Wiki or whatever it is, and uh, take a peek at at Jerry J E R I. Look at her history. Wait, J E R I. Yeah, Jerry. One R. Yeah. Not even J E R R Y. That's a boy's name. J E R I though. J E R I. It's a feminine. Yeah, I guess. All right, cool. Continue. Yeah. Anyway, so um. Yeah, so he, uh, she, she exists in there. Um, yeah, just read that. That's pretty goofy. But yeah, no, otherwise, at the end of the episode, what we do see, though, is uh, Kalmon is out here bullying, and Rika shows up to kill the, kill the I think Viomon was the, the Vilmon, demon. Yeah, Vilmon, 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 yeah, Vilmon, yeah. Um, like, they just, like, messed up. And she, she comes over, uh, and she uses, like, Renamon to, like, kill her and take the data. And at this point, Henry and Takata were like, yo, you gotta stop just coming in and yeah. just killing these dudes. Like it's 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 wrong. Like yeah. they have lives, and she's like, I don't care. And then Kelmon comes up. She's like, Hi, what are you up to? And she looks down. She's like, Yo, what's this? This is a Digimon. Oh, but it's, but it, it has like a personality, and it's like, it, it's so adorable. And it's yeah. oh my god, have I been killing things? Yeah, you know what? <laughs> you know what? Like uh, pretty much it devolves to like uh like um. No, you know I can't say what I want to say there. No, I'll say it. Like Rika, she's she's like a kid, but she she for sure like will grow up and to be like uh like one of those girls that's like uh um like like oh I'm such a rebel, but then it's like tame yeah, yeah. tame you know what I mean? No, hundred percent. Like like like, like, like get, she thinks she thinks she thinks she's like wild, but like yeah, she's no, like I'm gonna, low I'm key gonna just be boring. Real. Listen, if I'm at a party, if I'm at a party, you would never party with, with Rika with Takato. Henry, Henry or Rika. And Rika. No, I'm just saying, I'm just saying all three of them are at the party. All three of them are at the party. Okay, okay, so, right, time out, time out. Let's play the, hey, role play, role play, both situations. Role play, role play, all right. So all I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm walking to the party. Power raid, cup and head, cup and head. You walk into the party. I'll hold this duct tape. All right, all right, all right. So we have some visual things right here. Hey, sick party. All right, we're there. 
Anyway, so uh, yeah, yeah, hey, man, this is a great party. Yeah, yeah. You see Henry over there? Yeah. He's uh, he's probably like, he's probably high. He's probably high. Yeah. He's like, he he doesn't he doesn't come off as a drinker. He's probably high. But does um just weed or not even like, not even weed, just straight up CBD cigarettes. Yeah, honestly, doesn't honestly, want THC. He just wants to chill. No THC, no THC, yeah. just CBD kind of dude. So and there he is, and he's just he's having a great time. And it's like all organic, and he bought yeah. it like legally in Illinois. Yeah, and he's, like, and he's hanging out, and he, right now he's just talking to people, and this this is probably bitches on him. Let's be honest. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's girls, always girls, do, girls pursue him for sure, for sure, for sure. And then look okay, over there, look next. over there. There's Takato. Let's Boom. say he's running the pong table probably. He's running. He's probably running the pong table. Probably having a great. He time. chases girls. Henry, Henry, girls come to him. Like, Takato hey, hey, chases hey, girls. Hey, Takato, hey, cheers to you, brother. He probably cheers gets lucky you. every now and again all the time. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. You know, like, and, he's, and, he's and cool hypothetically, guy. also, time out, hypothetically, in this situation, we're all 21 honest, drinking of age. Yeah, 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 of course. Okay, of cool. course. Um, and uh, let, I mean, let's be honest, he's probably getting drunk, but he's not blacking out tonight, you know? Yeah, yeah. And he's, 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 he's got, corner. like, a level of responsibility yeah, yeah. to him. There's Rika in the corner. Like, let's say she has a bunch of really hot friends and they brought her. Oh, yeah. She, oh, yeah. Oh, oh, time out, time out. Yeah. She's either, she's either. She's either the one girl that's like every every dude's you know friend that like has the hot friends, or yeah. she's the hot friends friend that you're like, why are you friends with her? Uh, yeah, yeah, and she's like, yeah, yeah, and okay. let's and let, let's just presume that in this situation, which takes place canonically at least nine years in the future of this event, so they can all be illegal drinking. Yeah, yeah, because Takata's the youngest at twelve. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and cool. So let's let's all let's all just say um yeah. So she's out here, and it's like nine years later or whatever. Yeah. So she's so she's booling. Um, she'd be 23 she's you, two you, years you older you definitely know she's like sitting there and she's like definitely like with one of her friends and like her friend wants to return to the party but she's sitting in the corner and like keeping her there because yeah and like people have tried to come up and talk to her and she's just really standoffish like that that's rika i don't want to be at a party with rika but then kelman you tell me kelman's at the party not only am i there i'm there before the party even starts just to, just to be there the moment he oh gets yeah in. dude no like, kelman goes hard of kelman Kalman, Kalman shows up outside. with alcohol. It's way too he expensive. He shotguns a four loco on site. Kalman, yeah, dude. Kalman shows up, shotguns a four loco, and brought like not just one attractive, one attractive baddie, but like a whole swarm of attractive. He baddies. also he also probably calls them something really degenerative, like broads. He's like, oh yeah, I got this new slam piece. This is, <laughs> this is, this is, this is my dude, new Kalamon, slam piece. Hey, hey, time out, time out. Right, this is our merch for the show. Is Kalamon does not <laughs> respect women. Straight up, dude. There's no way Kalamon, 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 dude. Literally, no. Time out, dude. Kalamon, Kalamon's entire personality, entire personality is like, I just want to play. 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 And that's you just read it. Kalamon, Kalamon's in girls DMs being like, I just want to play. I just want to play. I just want to play. She's like, I want something real. He's like, No, I just want to play. I just want to no, play. I just want to play. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. So at, at one point, at one point during the yo. show, it's just like they're just like, Yo, we Kalamon should probably pulls. like in the in the in the in the episode, they're like they're like, Yo, we should probably give Kalamon like a partner. Kalamon like, Kalamon, it's, wait, it's, time like, out. it's like it's like you know we're on the real we should probably give Kalmon a partner hey what about your little sister and they go like henry's little sister and he's like she's too young wait wait let me explain let me okay, explain cool, this let me explain okay. this and they're just like yeah maybe we should like have her have her partner up with your little sister and then takato says and i quote and because you see her like playing with the doll she's like no nah, i don't think either of them are playing with a full deck you know, because they're both they're both just whack like that. Playing with a full deck. But first off, you gotta respect right away, right away. Even Great though you're writing. just trying to find him a partner, like a partner, you know that a real party, come on to be helping them find a partner. Oh, for real? Yeah, is, yeah. That is a fact. I mean, our backdrop just turned off. Yeah. It's like, man, no, no, Calamon, dude, straight up, Calamon, Calamon is like, uh, is like the personality of like, uh, of like, like, uh, like the one cross country owner that fucks, or like, uh, or like the band kid that's like that could like that could like sit at the football table if you wanted. You know what I mean? Like Cal- Calmon's just like yeah. the likable. He's like Calmon's like the social butterfly of the school. But Calmon also is a social butterfly that plays. Calmon plays, dude. He plays dude, Calamon, and he pulls. Calmon probably just like DMs, checks on Instagram, and actually gets responses. Like, just imagine that. Yeah, like, dude. I know obviously this is a fictional character because I don't think Calmon like, Snapchat is life, always is always just like 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 red, red, red. You know what I mean? Calmon yeah. pulls. He's got he's got the he's got the blank red box every time. He leaves her on red. Oh my gosh, every time. Cal- dude, Calmon. Oh my gosh. And Calmon's probably like low-key athletic because Calmon, uh, as we saw, like loves, he, yeah, loves yeah, yeah. soccer. He, he was out here playing soccer. That's like if you read the Calmon actually in this episode, it makes me feel really sad. He's just trying to become a really good soccer. Like he's like he sees everyone playing soccer and he's like, wow, this looks like so much fun. I want to be a big. So- I want to be a soccer player just like them. And he goes oh, and he, yeah. he he re he re chocks the field. And right, no one out. no one comes and plays with him because doesn't realize no one wants to play at Calmon, night. Does Calmon peak in high school? No, 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 no. If Calmon Cal- nah. was a person, that's you, ever, you ever seen that one movie where like the guy like walks on like the Philadelphia Eagles? I think it's like Unbroken or something. I don't even you know. Mean Rudy. I think Mark Wal- Mark Wahlberg's in it. Oh, I thought you were talking about Rudy. Never nah, mind. you know what? Rudy's a good example that's too. That's Notre though. Dame though. Calmon's just like that. Like he's like Rudy. He's going to college. He's like, I kind of want to walk on the Notre Dame Fighting Irish team right now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like that's that's kind of that's kind of energy. Shout out Chase Claypool. Shout out Chase Claypool. We're big Steelers guys. Wide receiver for the Steelers. Rookie this year. Great guy. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's. I mean, honestly, there's really not much else to say about this episode. Just yeah, I, mean, I think big, I think that's the logical conclusion. Honestly, um, the, like I could honest, I could summarize everything you need to know from the last couple episodes. Joke has like mild trauma from having to kill a Digimon once. Um, Henry, so Henry, this, or Henry, Henry. Oh my Henry's gosh, got trauma. Joke. Yeah, no. The, uh, um, anyway, actions have consequences. Yeah. I think that's a big takeaway. Actions yeah, have and consequences. Then, and then, then Rika's starting to realize that uh, hey, you can't just kill Digimon. And Kalmon um, is a bad bitch, essentially. Kalmon pulls. Kalmon's that, a bro. That's literally episodes four and five. All right, Kalmon's so a total bro. All right, yeah. peace. All right, good, good episode. Tune in next time.